Lake District National Park. You may recognise the car park behind me. Certainly not as full as when I was last here, but I'm bringing you guys along. I did actually come to Raki where I'm actually going to stay tonight. It's a glorious day as you can see. Coming up, roads weren't too bad considering it is a Sunday evening. So I guess a lot of people are heading back to wherever they have to go. Meanwhile, I'm here. Got the morning off tomorrow morning. Not in work till later on, which is a bonus. So I'll kind of make the most of it. Looking over to the reservoir, water level's quite low. For those of you who know this valley, there is a village that can be seen that was flooded many, many years ago. Now supplies water to a major town in the northwest. Probably not be able to see that today. Well, I can imagine it is quite an impressive sight when it is uh, visible. Certainly a lot lower than when I was last up there. It's probably about six, seven weeks ago now. I actually spent the night in the van in the car park. Didn't get up here till about half eight, nine o'clock at night. So the plan is new piece of kit to test. It's a tree hammock tent, stroke hammock tent. You'll get to see it anyway later on in the video. So the plan is to just follow the lake shore a little bit. I'd say I've already wrecked where I'm going to spend the night and we'll take it from there. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little while. So we've made our way up past the trees, but we've made our way up past the trees behind us and we're going to continue along this path. There's about three quarters of a mile ahead, there's another little promontory into the lake, which is where we're heading. A few people about people swimming in the water, which it is very, very warm, so I don't really blame them. Maybe later, I don't know, maybe in the morning, we'll see what it's like, a refreshing dip. i say it's very, very warm. Sunday evening, it's been nice the last few days anyway. Uh, we've had like a mini heat wave here in the UK. So you have to make the most of it while you can. Or we can just see over that way. The water levels are quite low. There's some people down on the, uh, the rocks down there, but where the trees are over in that direction, that's the intended destination, so the path just goes, meanders through that little nest of trees there, past the little hut, continues over the, uh, the river, and then round, and there's a little hole in the wall. So it's not too bad a journey. Quite easy, and makes it handy in the morning for returning back to uh, High Sai, the name of the van. Hopefully we should have a good night. I've not slept in this before. I've set it up, sat in it, laid in it, but not actually spent the night in it. So proof of the pudding as they say. Oh well uh, bring you back when we're getting a bit closer.
I'm on. I'll go. Oh, okay. We have style over the fence here. It's a little bit rickety from what I remember. So easy does it. Without going uh, arse over to it. So I've been Quite a few videos I've seen where people have spent the night here. So I decided to wreck it because I thought there would more than likely be a pitch for the three ten that I have. Another even Ricky 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 uh Ricky T uh even can't even speak style with barbed wire makes it even more precarious. Without split me different. Now we're going to meander around there are quite a few places just for tents, hammocks if that's your thing. This is like a hammock, but it's a, a tree tent that I've got. You'll get to see it obviously when I put it up. Uh, we've got the high street range behind us, the Steep Hike High Street range, number of others. Uh, I did do a video a while back on the Eastern Fells. Oh. If you check my channel out, you'll be able to, uh, to watch that. Maybe that I have this place to myself. Which is uh, a blessing. We shall see. I am up here. It's just starting to bloom, which is really nice. I'll come a bit off piece. Never mind, we'll get there. We can climb over the wall here, but we're heading generally in that direction. Oh, I'll bring you back when I've found the pitch. It's still a lovely evening. Probably about, let's check the time. Quarter six of an evening. Quite still. Only a breath of wind. So we're going to drop down and uh, find the two trees that are located to be able to, uh, to spend the night. So I'll catch you there looking up at the water. The famous Wainwright path goes along that side for those of you that know it. Did it many, many years ago in my youth. So I'll catch up in a minute anyway. So this is our pitch between the two trees. Uh, I've tested it here so I know 
it'll work here but if we look around that'll be our view looking over the reservoir there is a group of lads down there I've just walked through the camp it looks like they're going to be having a fire but as long as they keep it sensible keep it noise, noise down respectful because there's one thing I guess a lot of people can't stand is the fucking idiots that trash the place when there's absolutely no need I think most wild campers have the motto leave no trace it's a, it's a well known phrase and it's what most of us practice unfortunately there are some people that don't so I'm going to pitch this uh, tree tent up and give you a little tour of it once it's up and all the housekeeping's done. So this is, they call it a tree tent, it's from an American company called Opiongo, it is the Aerial A1, so it's a, designed on the likes of a hammock, but uh, you actually are able to sleep. In any way I'm a side sleeper, so I found it difficult in a hammock in the past, um, saw this and it appeared to fit the bill, time will tell. So it's obviously supported between two trees like a hammock would be, but it lays horizontal, whereas a hammock will have a dip in it naturally. So at one end, there is a strap that goes around the tree and through these two buckles. So you just tighten that to the tension that you want it there's no real tension on this end of it, it's all provided on the other end, there's some cam uh, ratchet buckles. I'll take you around there now. So again, the webbing goes around the tree through one of the offset uh, metal brackets through the cam and then you tension it by pulling that, so it's like a three to one tension system and that will uh, tension it so it's pretty pretty um, sturdy so there's one of those on either side so you can do it uh, on both sides do you reckon you can put it in a gap up to 26 foot between two trees I don't know I never tried it this this is the only the second time that I've had this out uh, inside obviously I've got my normal XPED uh, 5 with my Alpkit Pipe Dream 400. There's a bug net, so you can actually sleep with it without the fly sheet. You can actually sleep with it with just the bug net. I thought I'll keep the fly sheet on tonight, but I'll probably sleep with it open like this. To be honest with you, it's a pretty, uh, pretty nice evening. Um, so you can ventilate it as much as you can. Not too many midges about tonight, so I can't foresee it being a problem. So inside there's a pole that goes over the inside, if you have a look at that in there. I might just need to uh, fasten that up a little bit more. 
and there's a single pole on the top which the actual tent bit actually gathers to and the actual fly sheet clips onto as well. Underneath there is a area where you can store sleeping bag whatever keep it off the ground depending on the terrain you're in it can also be used as a normal tent so lay flat on the ground so it's best of both worlds um, not sure of the uh, the specs on weight and all that but I can put them in the description anyway so it's from as I say it's Opiongo and it's the Aerial A1 I saw it on Kickstarter so I put my order in quite a while ago now and obviously this was before it went into production they had to have so many people to uh, say they would prepay for the, uh, the tent before they would go into production and this arrived probably about I don't know a month six weeks ago maybe maybe a little bit longer time flies doesn't it when you're in lockdown so we're gonna see how it goes tonight but like I say I'm a side sleeper so hopefully this will aid me a restful night's sleep. It's an option anyway. I've got tents, as people have watched the channel, you'll know I've got a number of tents. Um, this is just to add into that. Uh, you can never have enough, can you? So, uh, but it's an option anyway. Um, so hopefully we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to get my tea now. It's coming on half past six. So now I'm set up, I'm going to just go down near the, uh, the shore and uh, just start my tea and get that and enjoy the evening. Probably listen to a podcast or two and uh, we'll see how it goes and catch you guys later. Well, I've eaten, and it's time to say goodnight. And we'll see if this A1 aerial is all it's cracked up to be. And we'll see you in the morning. Hopefully, it'll be good night. The view is good. I've left the outer fly sheet open, but the inner bug net closed. We'll wait and see. So, good night. Sleep well. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Well, that was a comfortable night. <laughs> Better than a hammock anyway. So this is where the tree tent was set up between these two trees, as you can see by the bag already packed up. Just uh, about to head off. As always, leave no trace. Midges are out in force though. Probably see we've got sunrise coming up. And just have a last view over the lake before we head off. Not a bad pitch. Pretty quiet night last night to be fair. So, put the bag on and head off. Back to uh, High Sai and make the journey back towards home. Looking over to where I spent the night on that uh, little promontory there into uh, the lake. So this morning we've only a short walk back. It's a path. Ooh. Goes along, not the lake shore, but not far from. Brings us to this location here, and just see the path coming into view now. So there's a little climb behind us, and then just walk past the uh, where the forest is, 
and then back to the car park. <laughs>